dear students in this video we are going to discuss about use case diagram for library management system in the previous video i explained the use case diagram for online shopping system and i uh, shown uh, the step by step way how to draw the use case diagram for online shopping system so next i try to give few more examples for use case diagram for better understanding right in that last video i covered how to draw the use case notations into that uh, the screen and how to frame that entire structure and how it will be look like that final outlook right so that's why i directly move on to that the final outlook of library management system in this video i will explain one by one what kind of the use cases i used to for library management system and who are all involved in the entire process right first i introduce the actor the actor as a user and i used a two generalization and we can call it as uh, that's a sub actor right so the sub actor for the library management system uh, the first person as a staff and second actor as a student so as a user it could be as either staff or a student in that form of a generalization relationship i created here right so the next person who is involved in that library management system as a library staff it's a, the next role of library management system and it's a followed by as a database manager or we can call it as as a admin that's the next actor who involved in that system right now i will explain that the use cases what i used for each actor right so as a first user enter into that uh, the library as a new user they want to register into that library right so as a new user registration that's the first process we have to take for that the process and uh, as a new user registration it includes what kind of other use cases or sub use cases we have to consider to fill up the registration form and it includes one more uh, that use case so after fill up the registration form we have to validate whether that form is correct or wrong or it's valid or invalid so that's the next process in the uh, user registration right so once if the user is valid user they successfully completed their registration form and they can get the library card that's the second use case i mentioned here for the user registration so the next step so once the registration is over as a user user i as i already said they may be as a staff or student right so once a successful registration they can log in into the system as i said login it include the verification of username and password so already we got that library card and with the help of library card or a library id so something whatever we get it from that the registration process with the help of that information we can log in into the system and next we have to verify that whether the username and password is correct or wrong so it's also a use the keyword which is called as include relations right so the next step after successful login we are going to request the new book right so that's a second or third stage of our uh, use case model and the next case so once we request the new book we got that book and after sometimes we have to renewal that book right so renewal is the next process of uh library management system right 
and as a renewal of uh, the book it also includes that verification or verify the eligibility what it mean so sometimes if we keep on taking a particular book for particular student or staff they will restrict uh, number of time of to renewal the book or number of the time to take that the same person for the same book they will restrict sometimes due to some shortage of books uh, due to some uh, reasons it will be differ right so that's why i mentioned uh, that verification of the eligibility to renewal the book so as a library they will mentioned only two times you can renewal the book or three times you can renewal or only one time it's eligible to renewal the book so that's it's a process which i include uh, the verification and the next process i in in case uh, if we uh, taken that book and at the end before that deadline or before the due date once you return that book uh, there is no penalty uh, we no need to pay any amount so if it is exceed the due date uh, definitely we have to focus on uh, that a uh, fee payment or uh, the penalty detail which is the most important part of library management system right so as a penalty now you just look at that uh, the statement what i mentioned here so till now we use the include keywords right so as a user registration it includes the to fill up the registration form as a registration form it includes the validation process so that the next one uh, once the successful registration you can get the library this is also uh, we use the include now for the penalty it could be as either card payment or cash payment or wallet payment this is the extend a uh, keyword either any one uh, the method we can apply uh, to pay the fee right so that's why i use the extend keyword right so once uh, this process is over uh, this is the cycle for the user to uh, involved in the library management system right so the next uh, major part of as a library staff they have to manage the entire book of the library right so as a library can uh, that is add the book update the book details and even if uh, the book is not available or if uh, they want to delete that book information from the database we can delete uh, such kind of records and once what uh, the book availability uh, we can view the book information so this is also uh, its most essential part of the library staff to handle that the complete information uh, and it will be helpful for that uh, the people who taken the book from the library so uh, how many number of books is available and uh, uh, what kind of different books is available so once then and there they have to add a uh, book details and once if the book information is updated for after some times and we can view the book informations as well as we can uh, delete the book records if it is not required in future right so that last stage the entire process is over for the library staff so we have to look into the the database manager so all the information it is handled with that uh, the database right so as a database manager or as a admin can manage the entire library database so that's the next part of uh, that uh, the database manager work right so i hope uh, i included all the process which it involves in the library management system even as a student uh, you think about in different ways you can add a few more uh, that is uh, the process which is not listed out here you can add it to a, your diagram right so as whenever you draw the diagram just you think about that that information related to your diagram and what kind of notations you are going to use it for your diagram as well as what kind of relationship you are going to create for your diagram this is the most important part of any kind of uml models right and uh, this is the way you can create your use case diagram and uh, this diagram it looks the complete information about library management system i hope uh, this information it's helpful to everyone 
Still, if you have any doubts, you can post it in that comment window. I ready to help you all. Thank you. Thanks for watching.